Hey guys, we're back with a Face 26 kind of introduction, I guess. This is a pretty new one. I already run into issues and I just bought this thing a couple of minutes ago. So that's not promising. Anyways, so Face 26, it's going to enhance, colorize, upscale, and turn blurry pictures into, you know, well, HD quality AI pictures, basically. So I went to redeem it and apparently I have to email them the code and yeah. So we may do an update on this, depending on how far we get into this review. It has not been reviewed at all, so it must be brand new, but it's got an unblur thing. So we're going to have to go find some blurry pictures, maybe some, some black and white pictures. And uh, I guess it can remove backgrounds, it can colorize, it can zoom in and make it good. It's called face zoom, apparently. The plan one, which is the one I got, is 200 premium coins per month. I don't know exactly what that's going to get us, but we'll find out here in a bit. I did email them the code, so we'll see if how long it takes them to update it. So there'll probably be two sections of this video, and I'll update it in the follow-up. But for now, I did sign up to the trial. It doesn't tell us how many things we have on the trial. Okay, so literally it only gives us one token to try. So that's already... A red flag in my opinion let's do a blurry picture plus black and white so what what can we do here let's do an enhancer let's see what happens we only have one credit so we're gonna have to continue this here in the next video in a second but we'll see what we can do it didn't do anything so that was it basically just highlighted the face cleared it up a little bit did not colorize it at all so it did okay it brightened up around the head for some reason but not the rest of it not impressed don't like that Let's colorize it. Okay, there's the before. There's the after. Hmm. Okay. Again, not super impressed with it. Let's do a straight up enhancer. See what that is. So we did the enhancer V2. This is actually better than the first enhancer. That was decent. Okay, so that one's not bad. Let's do a face zoom. Let's do one on him. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is the most impressive one so far. Okay. Let's do background remover. It's cool that it's letting us test all this, even though we have one credit. That was absolute garbage. That was horrible. Cut off his feet and everything. Face zoom version two. We'll do the same kid. That way we have a comparison. Okay. Pretty good. I mean, it looks like a real kid. I mean, I guess it is a real kid, but still. Let's do an upscaler times four. This is just making the picture bigger. Maybe not. It just cleared it up, I guess. His eyebrow looks funny. Look at his eyebrow up here. Okay. That was, that's okay. All right. Not overly impressed with this so far. What's this one supposed to do here? Okay. So it just makes the painting a little more realistic. Enhancer V2. That almost looks real. So that's pretty close. That's pretty good. Let's go do the anime one. See what that does for that. All right. So let's do the enhancer. It actually made it more blurry, a little more real, I guess. All right, let's try V2. Oh, that's face zoom. My bad. I'm going to do that one. Okay. All right. Well, okay, so basically you can, it has two different types of enhancers. It has a background remover that kind of works. It has, you can colorize black and white, white pictures. You can do face zoom on group pictures for specific people. That's probably the coolest one in my opinion, and you can upscale it. Kind of made her, or left her face still kind of gray, though. That's the only thing. Missed a spot there. It kind of works. I'm not overly impressed with this one. I don't like the process that you have to go through over here. As far as the software itself, it kind of works. Most things work decently on their examples, like this picture. Let's make it unblurry, and it works. I mean, it, it went from blurry to not so blurry. How accurate it is, I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard to tell because you don't know what he looked like before. And it's definitely not perfect. There's still imperfections in everything. When it colorizes the black and white, white pictures, there's imperfections in that. So it works, but it doesn't work well. As far as the deal itself, fairly cheap. I mean, if it's one coin for every time you accept what it is, because you can play around with this. I've only got one credit of being able to do all this. You can test around, you can play around. If it doesn't work for you, then you just hit back. Oh, that's terrible. What it needs is like a a thing on the side here where you can like lower the 
effect a little bit, kind of like scale back the effect and see if that would improve things. Overall, I'll be refunding this. It's okay. I'd rate it a three or four taco out of five. Definitely not. A, it's definitely not a five taco software. It's probably a decent deal though, considering you have 200 coins. If it's one coin per export, then that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You could probably use this for print on demand for expanding photos as well uh, for like mid journey images. No, this isn't for me personally. So that's my uh, little showcase of face 26. I know it was quick. I'm not even going to wait until they activate the LTD. I don't need the 200. The trial's enough for you to, to get a feel for it and figure out if it's for you. So go check out the trial. It's free for one. You only get one export. But you can test out and play with all their little images and stuff like that. It looks like a download is going to cost you your credits. So that's not bad. They're pretty generous on the playing around. So go check out the trial. See if you like it. And if you like it, buy it. I'll leave all the links down below. Uh, that's it for me in this one. See ya.